Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to watch us. We've got Push Order up here. I'm Victor Trevino. We're going to rock out. First song they're going to do is a Push Rod tradition. Push Rod, hit the game! Welcome to another episode of TMB TV on the Monster Blog. It's episode four of 2009, and we're coming to you from the National Rod and Custom Car Show here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, featuring the Battle of the Monster Trucks. It's a yearly event. It's Daryl Starbird's biggest car show, and it features eight monster trucks going head to head in wild racing action. This is a very unique show. It's racing only, no freestyle, and no ramps on the racing lanes. You run at the cars, you hit them, you get big air, and you go for the finish line and it's going to be great we've got eight trucks two from team bigfoot rick long with bigfoot number 15s here and jerry dalton's in the snake bite this weekend mac plecker's going to be taking him on in one of the most competitive versions of barefoot that's been out there in a long long time and we've got a great lineup of other trucks that are going to be competing here this weekend as well we've got so much coming up for you here on tmb tv let's do it Tulsa is a very unique style of monster truck racing. You just don't see a competition like this very often. So let's talk a little bit about some of the rules and the way this competition works. Starting out Friday night before the first show, they go ahead and put all the names of the trucks in a hat. And for all four shows for the whole weekend, they go ahead and decide the first round matchups. Then they sit there in the driver's meeting with flip a coin, and that's how they decide lane choice for these first rounds. And in addition, you know, the drivers get their base pay for the weekend, but every single win that they put on the board over the course of the weekend, that's more money in their pocket. And, uh, you know, that just makes the drivers run that much harder over the course of the weekend. And what's interesting is they take racing pretty seriously here. The brackets are a little different. We'll get to that in a moment. But we also have finish line cameras here. Every single race is going to be reviewed after each one to make sure the right call is made so the money goes to the right driver for that win. Now let's talk about the style of racing. It's a mix between regular brackets and double elimination style drag racing. The first round is done normal. You lose in the first round, you're out of the competition. But then after that, we go into double elimination style racing. So each time a driver loses two races, they're out of the competition. And that's how we get to the final round pairing. We get into two drivers, whether they're undefeated or one loss, the two drivers left at the very end of the racing competition are the ones going for the final round championship. And we've got all that coming up for you right now on TMB TV.
All right, round two's in the books, and let's talk about what we saw. Jerry Dalton with Snakebite gets the pass back into the racing bracket when Bluegrass Stomper can't come back. Now, Snakebite takes on Viper. Good first pass for Richie Blackburn, but Jerry Dalton takes him down there in the second round with big, huge air shot. Rick Long with Bigfoot matches up with Drew Haygood and Dreamcatcher, and he takes him down. Okay, so now we've got four trucks here in, in, in we're talking about. Bigfoot, no losses. We've got one loss for Snakebite, one loss for Viper, and one loss for Dreamcatcher. And essentially what we're going into here is a double elimination style bracket. So the next race we're going to be taking on, we're going to see Viper take on Dreamcatcher, and whoever loses that race is out of it. And whoever stays in is going to move on. And we'll see what happens from there. It's coming up right now.